Buying and selling cards are the lifeblood and are one of the most appealing aspects of any physical trading card game. But what would happen if players only had an incredibly limited selection of cards to buy from? In this series, both Ruxin34 and myself will be bidding on sealed product from all throughout Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Each episode will have a new selection of product for us to bid on, build decks, and play a best two out of three. However, the kicker is that the items up for grabs will only be revealed to us us one at a time. You've never seen Yu-Gi-Oh! played like this before, because this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Auction Series. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Auction Series. Man, Ruxin, we had so much fun in the last episode that we thought we would run it back and do it again. How are you feeling, buddy? <laughs> uh, I'm actually extremely excited because last time was awesome. It was super fun. I think the auction went uh, poorly for me, but it turned out <laughs> actually not to be that bad. I thought I got killed and then it turned out okay in the duels. Yeah, I thought that may have been one of the best sets we've had in the series. But and like when you look at the episode in totality, I think it may have been the best episode we filmed thus far. But that's for debate. Obviously, that's more in the eyes of <laughs> Put the it down in the comments, in this case, guys. The, it, yep, down in the comments. They, <laughs> they let us know for sure. But I'm ready to get into it, buddy. Another blind auction. So for people who didn't watch the first one, first of all, I don't know what you're doing. But just to give you a quick rundown, we have 10 items up for bid that both Ruxin and I have not seen before. We are both going to know what the item is, submit a bid but we're not going to know who won the item until the very end of the auction once all 10 items have been sold so it makes for a very interesting psychological dynamic when it comes to this i'm ready if you are buddy i am ready all right let's get into item number one i'm excited okay 20 packs of tournament pack 17 ots tournament pack 17 there weren't 17 original tournament packs i should specify <laughs> Uh, newer product, interestingly enough. Um, very new, very new. Ve I was going to yeah. say very new. Now, this could actually be pretty good. I feel like the quality of the commons in this may not be insane, but compared to like some other, if this was like tournament pack seven, just as an example, I think yeah, this looks yeah. a little bit better than that by comparison. What do you think? I mean, we can uh, get higher rarity of our cyber dragons and imperms. It's going to be really nice uh, yeah. for our value of our virtual deck. But uh, and also those are pretty good cards. So I was going to say, I think those are pretty good. Those, you know, yeah. we have to pull them, but 20 packs, uh, maybe there's an ultimate rare to be had in there. Yeah, um, probably one, maybe. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my bid up. Uh, let me know when you're ready and we will submit them over. Oh, 20 packs of tournament pack. This is hard. There's three cards a pack in here as well. So that's guaranteed 60 cards. Like you could argue that's maybe a playable deck. I'm not sure. I'm just thinking, imagine if we start with this and then we go like, original sets and like this is like the only new set so it's, like it's possible it's possible it, it we don't happen, know what's so... coming next we don't know what's coming next it's interesting though for sure okay um i am ready okay let's go ahead and send the bids over in three two one go and the weird part about this is is like we don't know like how to react here the audience <laughs> is probably like losing their shit and we're just like all right next item <laughs> Yeah, and we haven't even seen the last episode, so we don't even know what it looks like. So we have, no, we, we have haven't. Nothing. Yes, because at the time of recording, we have no idea how uh, this actually looks. So yeah. let's go ahead and see item number two and move on to see what's next. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yugi's legendary decks. Now, this isn't just one deck you get. This is yeah. three decks. Three decks. Holy yeah. shit. You and I both uh, know the power of constructed decks or uh, I guess sealed constructed decks yeah. in this series and you get three of them um, oh my is God. somebody gonna be playing Exodia uh, we're gonna find out. Oh, we'll find <laughs> out. We'll find out. Oh my God. This is so different though than just a regular starter or structure deck yeah. though because there's three decks. Three now obviously decks. like not every card in these decks is playable but yeah, still. Yeah. 
There's some bad ones, but when you have, you know, 120 cards or what, is it 40 cards? I don't know, whatever it is, then it's it's it, pretty good. It's probably minimum uh, 40, I'd imagine. I mean, yeah. it could possibly be 50. I know some decks, like, they actually do go yeah. above 40 sometimes. And also, too, you get, like, extra deck stuff possibly as well. Yeah, wow. extra deck stuff, probably some good staples in there. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is mm -hmm. interesting. This is tough. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. I, I, I've got a bid. I'm, <laughs> I don't know how I'm feeling about it, but I've got a bid. Oh, my goodness. Where's my piece of paper? I'm supposed to be taking notes on this. That's true. Uh, you need to, we need to be taking notes for how much we've <laughs> already spent or how much we think we've spent because we don't know how much money we have at any given moment. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um... Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go ahead and send them over then in three, two, one, go. Uh, I don't know how I'm feeling about this one, buddy. Uh, yeah, me either. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to item number three. These are good items, though. These are good items. Oh, my God. <laughs> we are kind of going backwards. <laughs> We are, but still, like, still these really are good, all yeah. really good products. Yeah, this is a really good one for those staples that have just never gotten bad. They've just stayed mm -hmm. really good for forever, and you can get them as commons and stuff like that. So this is a very good yeah. one. 20 packs is a lot, too, because I think you get, like, 13 cards a pack, so you get a ton of cards from this. You get a ton of cards. The cards are also by, you know, this series standards can actually be very good. Like you said, a lot of them come low rarity. We actually, I think, just did this in Sealed Showdown not that long ago. So I'm actually a bit familiar. I think we've maybe had this in this series too, like once or twice. But Yeah, I think maybe like a couple packs. Or something. Hmm. Oh, man. It's, man, they just keep getting better and better. This is a good auction. This is a good auction. Okay. Yeah. Uh, How much you know money? what? Let's... Let's, I, I've got my bid. Uh, this is a tough one. This is a hard one. This is a hard one. This is a really tough one. Um, there are some very broken old cards in this product. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, the worst part is not knowing what the other person has already won. That's right. what I hate. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I think I'm ready. Okay, let's go ahead and send them. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God, I hate this. I hate this, this so much. This is awful. All right, uh, how are you feeling so far, buddy? <laughs> um, I have no idea how to feel right now. I have zero idea how to feel. <laughs> I don't either. I don't either. You know what? I'm feeling Nervous. like seeing That's item it. number four. Oh. Ooh. Mm, okay. Genesis Impact. All right, not the best, but it not is very new. It's very new. There are some potential low rarity cards in here that could matter, I would yeah. say. Question is, do we feel that it's worth it? Yeah, hmm. it feels underwhelming compared to some of these other ones, but I agree. it's only 12 I, packs, so. I do feel like there is a chance that this could be useful. In the context of it all, I'm not sure if it's useful enough. Hmm. Okay, I got a bid. I think I know what yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, I do as well. Okay, let's go and throw them up then. Three, two, one, go. All right. And just like that, let's move on to item number five. Ooh. 15 oh, packs of no. Rise of the Duelist. Now, Rise is a very interesting set, yeah, right? It's a lot like of high rarity, right? It is very high rarity. Yeah. A lot of people would revere it as like one of the best sets that's come out in a while though. And I think yes. that's fair. I don't know about the quality of the lower rarity half of this yeah. set. I, I remember a lot of the good cards, but I, they're all like secret rares and a few ultras maybe, but- A few ultras, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's uh, how I feel. It's funny though, cause like almost every secret or like half the ultras are like crazy in this set. Yeah, though. the <laughs> secrets are incredible. Unless you get Ad Emancipator Friends, which is a $1 secret rare. Other than that, uh, <laughs> or maybe Gaia, the, the Gaia too. That probably yeah, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. fantastic either. I feel like there could maybe be something useful in here. Yeah, this is like a great set, but in this context, I don't know. It's definitely not gr like amazing like it is in constructed. So, it's or, not uh, stellar. Yeah. It's not yeah. stellar. Uh, I've got a bid though. Okay, let me think about this. Fifteen packs. You're looking at your uh, <laughs> your little scratch Let's paper there. Little, uh, I had to rip out a piece of paper and get going here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go a number that I'm not gonna tell you. Um, really? That's unfortunate. Yeah, sorry. I, I gotta <laughs> gotta keep it secretive. <laughs> wouldn't uh, wouldn't defeat the purpose of the the whole episode or anything. No, I wouldn't. All right, I'm ready. 
Okay, let's send them in three, two, one, go. I don't know how to feel about that one. That's a that's an yeah. interesting one. Yeah, those last two kind of like, I don't know. They, they threw a curveball at us. They were, they were really yeah. hot, and now they're kind of like, I don't know. Yeah, we started really strong, and now we're 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 tapering it down a little bit. We're tapering it down. Okay, uh, item six. Let's see what we're working with. Oh come <laughs> on! Oh! Really? Oh, twelve dark revelation two. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm. A lot less packs in the dark beginning, though, which is interesting. A lot less packs in dark beginning. A different set of cards to pull from as well. Oh, man, dark revelation two. I think we're actually on this pack for Sealed Showdown. Or it's either this or, like, the one before it. But I know we're close to it. I have it on my calendar written down. Okay. Ooh. This is hard. I'm trying um, to think what's in here. Okay, I can. Oh, yeah. Do okay. you know what's in here? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. I know 100% what's yeah. in here. Okay, yeah. I just had to kind of go through the dark revelations to remember right, like, what, right. the, what, the, what they are. Because, you know, they do, like, different reprints. Um... Mm. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. 12 packs, not a ton. Still pretty good. Let's it's not go. bad. Like, and you know, the reprint sets are, are nuts. Man. So yeah, this is a weird mixture of like old reprints and like just new core sets or like, or like stuff like that. Okay. I got a bid. I got a bid. Um, all right. I am ready. Okay. Let's send them in three, two, one, go. And that's it. Uh, I don't know. That's that's a hard one. I think that's a tough one. I don't want to like keep talking because I want to like wait to see like who gets what. But yeah, uh, let's just let's just get into item seven. I'm I'm too excited. Four items left, and uh, anything is possible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> mm, don't know how I feel about this one. If I'm being this may be the first time I look at a structure deck and think to myself. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like, okay. Well, you thought yourself that about the rock deck. Just remember that. I did, and um, the rock structure deck was nuts. So yeah. so it was decent. Um, uh, I wish I knew if I had those legendary decks now, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Right, that's <laughs> one of the things that makes this so difficult. It's like if you lost out on the legendary decks, the other person would probably want to go all in, not all in, but like pretty heavily for this, I feel like, because at least it's yeah. a deck, right? Yeah. Oh, what is in this deck that's good? I don't even remember. Wow, and this is new too. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what this looks like, but I don't remember much about same, it, to be honest. Same, same. Yeah. Hmm. It is a deck, I honestly, so. I don't know how to feel about this, if I'm being honest. I'll, I'll chuck up a bit, I guess. I will also check up a bid all right let's see it in three two one go i don't know i i, I don't know <laughs> if if i should have gone more for this maybe maybe i was right i don't know i i honestly don't know because i don't know what else i want at this point yeah three more items we don't know what could pop up and we also I'm pretty, know what we have <laughs> yeah i'm pretty scared to be honest so let's go ahead and see item number eight. Oh. Ooh. 27 that's, duelist that's a pack weird number <laughs> that is a strange number 27 packs they didn't come through. like in boxes of 27 wasn't it like boxes it was of 36 30? i think 36 it was so like a it's three pack. quarters of a box <laughs> yeah that's what the number is yeah there we go <laughs> okay interesting interesting battle city okay battle city which oh, there's so many duelist pack somethings yeah that I'm really, I I kind of remember this one. I remember a, some of it, but I never I've never even opened it, so I don't know it too well. I feel like if I saw what the pack looked like, I would know. But that kind of yeah. defeats the whole purpose of this. Yeah, uh, everyone else can. Yeah, everyone else can see it. And yeah, because they like, get the. Why they don't, get you, the, why don't they you look get at overlooked. it? We're like, we can't see it. We can't see it. Plus, that also defeats the purpose too. We're actually yes. just doing text in Discord for anyone wondering. We still have two more items, two more so that's items, something we have to consider. Our money is also possibly getting low. Possibly, maybe. Uh, possibly maybe getting not. low. <laughs> like last we don't time know, I had fifty thousand left. Correct. We don't know who's won what at this point. Okay. Um, I will throw up my bid. All right, I will as well. Okay, let's send them in three, two, one, go. It's a weird one. It's a, it's that's, it's that's a weird one. Yeah, I that's think gonna that be one, I think the biggest wild card of this I, one. I remember like Wing Dragon of Raw support and stuff like that. It's kind of strange. Like Sphere Mode is in there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't we'll remember see. too much about it. 
We'll see. Two more items. Item number nine. We're getting close to the end. Let's see them. Wow. <laughs> One of the newest sets. We're going with 15 oh, packs of Burst of Destiny. Oh, that's oh, scary. Oh, my God. Hmm. <sighs> Burst Again, of Destiny. I, I feel like this yeah. is maybe in alignment with Rise of the Duelist. Yeah? Yeah. Similar Where, for sure. High rarity is crazy, but is the low rarity stuff that yeah, good? Yeah, I mean, are we going to get a Sword Soul Core out of 15 packs? Uh, Probably not, <laughs> right? Unlikely. There could be... I mean, it's funny. If only we could actually... If we got a Phoenix Enforcer, it'd be cool if we could actually summon it, but like... Yeah, then you, know, you have to actually summon it. <laughs> right, right. Uh, okay. Well, I will go ahead and submit a bid. I think I know what I want to do for this. Uh, okay, I am ready. All right, let's send it in three, two, one, go. And we are now on item number 10. Now, this is a very interesting item for this type of auction specifically yeah. because last time what we did was anytime we have an item 10, we still potentially have money left over. And the best part is both Rux and I have no idea how much money we have left. We can do some <laughs> math and maybe take a guess, but what makes it interesting is that for item 10, if you overbid and you don't have enough money to fulfill that bid, you automatically lose out on the item. However, if both of us overbid, neither of us gets it. But whoever, it's a game of chicken, essentially, is what we're playing <laughs> for item 10. So let's see it. I think there's going to be a, a good one here. I just have a hunch. So item 10. Oh, come on! Oh, all right, maybe not so good. Uh, <laughs> Throwback, all right, uh, old school. We've had this one in like every episode, it feels like. <laughs> well, this is the structure deck. Oh, the deck. structure deck. This oh, is actually, not the wait. starter deck. What this is, is different. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, this so is So this actually could be slightly better. Yeah, um, definitely. Mm, now we have to play the game. Okay, so now I'm going to have to go back and you're going to have to as well. We have to figure out what auctions we may have won and what we may have lost. Yeah, we got to do a little math here, a little guesstimation. Hmm. And it's another it's another structure deck. Like these are so powerful in this series. Yeah. I think Even I if have, you just I got your bit. Already. Yeah. Really? I think I've done my math. I've done my calculations. Okay. I'm and, waiting for uh, you to like have like 50k saved up just for the last. <laughs> <item>. <laughs> yeah. Um, just slow rolling me over here. Okay, I will go ahead and throw my guess up then. Okay. All right. In three, two, one, go. And that does it for all ten items, buddy. How are you feeling before we get to the big reveal on who won what? This is my favorite part. I can't wait to see what happened. <laughs> I love that we just get to have like the delayed reaction to everyone else to see like who actually yeah, won. Everyone everything. already knows and we're just like, okay. <laughs> now they're just reacting to our reaction. Okay, so item one was 20 packs of OTS pack 17. Let's see who won that one. Oh, <laughs> shit. I knew you were going 13. <laughs> I thought go. you were going to go 12, so I went 13. Uh -huh. and yeah, you I knew you would be like, he's going 12, me. I'm going 13. I was ready oh, after last man. week, 22 to 23. I was ready this week. Oh, my God. Okay, fair. You could have gone 14 and had them all for yourself. But, okay, yeah. I act like I knew, but let's be honest. I was just <laughs> so I couldn't okay. could get that great. So in the instance of a tie, which I still don't know how we actually pulled off, in the instance of a tie, both Ruxin and I get the item. So that's exciting. More cards to go around. Let's see item two. The Yugi's Legendary Dex. This is the big one. Oh. Who got the Dex? Oh, oh you spent 35! Wow. <laughs> it's three Dex, buddy. <laughs> oh, isn't one of them, though, like just completely worthless? I don't know. I maybe I one completely the, okay, overbitted for I this. I know but. one of them is straight up just Yugi's like cards from the anime, so they're like garbage, just like Exodia and all these random. I guess Breaker is probably in there, so that's pretty good. Hey, but. if Breaker's in there, I'm not complaining. But yeah. we'll see. I mean, we'll see if I overpaid yeah. for this. But I, I mean, you probably I didn't. It's I put a lot but. of stock in the sealed decks, so okay. I, right. I figured that this was a pretty. If there was an item to spend money on, I figured this may be one of them. So we'll see. I probably see. won some items I did not expect to win then. <laughs> okay, so let's go to item three. 20 packs of Dark Beginning 1. Yes. Ooh, yes. big one. That's a big yeah. one. Yeah, I, I felt like I had to underbid on this a little bit because I yeah. figured I was going to win the Legendary decks. This is yeah. Dark Beginning 1's a very good set of cards, so good, yeah, good it, one on that. I like that. Okay, item four was the 12 Genesis Impact Packs. 
Yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah. What you seven want the 2K K strategy? The... I see. Well, I figured you were gonna go one, and so I just went two just to try yep. to snipe them off of you. Uh, okay. All right. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, there's some good link monsters in here. I think Don't if love anything, it, but... I think the link monsters are make it worth it. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it plays out. Yeah. Item five. That was the Rise of the Duelist packs. Fifteen of them. Oh. Okay. All right. I didn't expect uh, to win these, like, but okay. Looks like I'm playing Yugi decks with OTS pack seventeen cards at this rate. <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, uh, we're pretty close on that one. I think that one yeah. could be okay, but it's 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 a bit high end, so we'll see. Item six, that was the twelve Dark Revelation Volume Two packs. Oh, wow. okay. You went. Okay. I guess you didn't have a lot of money, like potentially at this point, but yeah, correct. I, I, I was down at like ten, but every time I bend ten, I lose because you go to like eleven, twelve, or something. <laughs> so I ended up at thirteen. <laughs> the thirteen strat. I didn't actually think this one was that great because if i'm correct i think this is invasion of chaos ancient yeah, sanctuary yeah, it is it's not and, as good as the first one right and like i guess there's potentially like chaos sork and stuff in here but like we've had some weird luck mm -hmm. even with like the commons in these packs so i didn't and really the put chaos a lot of monsters seem to lose more often than they win so <laughs> right right i mean we'll see though we'll see maybe they'll be broken for you this time uh but looking pretty good you've got a lot of cards to open item seven the structure deck freezing chains i'm very curious to see who got this one Wow. Okay. 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 Uh, Again, I didn't really have faith in this one that much. I, I didn't I, either, but it, as a structure deck, even 14 felt super low, but I was like, if I get it, whatever, that's fine. Right. Fair, fair. Wow. So you've actually spent a lot of money by this point now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it looks like I have a lot of money left over. All right. Item eight, the Duelist Pack Battle City cards. Yeah, I guess we need to figure out how much I've spent. Well, we'll see. Oh, we both got it. Wow! Two in a, not two in a row, but two items in one auction. We both. I'm gonna be the opening a lot of packs. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot. Of, you always have a lot of packs to open. Though, Somehow, to be fair. yeah. Yeah. All right, two items left. Fifteen packs of Burst of Destiny. Who's walking away with those? I don't think I have any money left. I was about oh. to say you're running pretty low on money here. <laughs> I I think I had about this much left, so I was figuring, okay, I can go. And like a decent amount on them. But yeah, yeah, looking at this, you spent almost all your money by this point. So I'll take Burst of Destiny. That's not bad. Yeah, I want Structure deck, <laughs> Seto Kaiba. Who got this one? No! Wow! You overbid! <laughs> no! I wonder how much money I overbid by. Do you, uh, uh, do well, we know so that? the thing is, if you didn't even have 13,000, yeah, I did oh, it, you so had you 10,000 left. Yeah. Oh, wow. So there's no way you could have actually yeah, won I this. I couldn't have won only, anyway. So. The only thing that could have happened was I could have overbid as well and also yeah. lost here. Right. So, wow. Okay. Well, I guess I'm getting another structure deck. Uh, My with, calculations like, were incomplete. <laughs> you have a lot of cards to open, though, buddy, uh, compared to me. Well, so I have seven sets. <laughs> you have, yeah, I only won one, two, three, four items, and you have seven. So, and two of mine are sealed. <laughs> Well, at least we can, uh, you know, know maybe what you're going to be playing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, you can take a pretty good guess at the direction yeah. I'm going to go. But, buddy, we have a lot of product to crack. I'm excited. Let's get into it. All right, guys, we got this structure deck, Freezing Chains. I really was not sure what it was. It turns out it's an ice barrier structure deck, which is eh, probably not too good. However, there are a couple of good cards in here once you get past all the monsters, which is unfortunate. I mean, they do have the frog, so if we went in some water strategy, I mean, maybe, but... Uh, when it comes to the actual trap cards, if we do, we have these cards are good for water, but we you have Fiendish Chain, which is pretty good. We have Mind Drain's okay. I doubt we're going to be activating from the hand, though. Heavy Storm Duster is pretty good. You don't get to conduct your battle phase, but you can destroy two spell and traps, which is pretty good. And Crackdown is really good if we do have some Link monsters we can just Link into or Synchro into or whatever. And we do have synch two Synchros in here that are really nice. Actually, three. Brionic, Gugnir, Gungnir, Gungnir, yeah, that and Trishula. So those are all pretty good. So there's a few good cards in here. We didn't spend too much money. So I wouldn't say it's a win, but it's definitely not a big L. We literally had too many packs for the pack opener. It says 100 is the max. I had 106 packs to open. So we're going to open 100 here, and I took off six of the Rise of the Duelist. We'll do that separately. So Dark Beginning 1 is our first one. Let's flip the cards and see what we can get. Uh, Okay, Megamorph is interesting. I don't know if it's ever going to come up, but if it, it could be crazy. Toll's annoying. Uh, yeah, not a little underwhelming. Uh, we have Fire Princess. Trap Hole's pretty good. Um, Hinata no, we're not playing Hinatama. Fairy Box is probably not good enough for this, but maybe we'll consider it. Uh, Sui Jin. All right, interesting one. Man, these are actually terrible. Where's our pack luck has been so bad recently? Come on, can we get something good? The Blue Eyes White Dragon Ultra Rare. That's the wrong art for DB1, but, uh, 
Mir mirror wall. That's pretty good. Mirror wall. Silver effect. Snatch steel. There we go. There's a card we want. Snatch steel is very good. Mask weakness is a nice battle trap. I don't know if it'll come up or not. Malevolent Nuzzler. We got a curse of the mass beast. We didn't play it in that one episode. Maybe we should. Four star ladybug is not too terrible. I need to see exactly what he's playing. I know the Yugi's legendary decks is a lot of like old school monsters. So it's not a lot of good stuff. We'll see if any of his other cards are potentially newer. So he might be on a newer strategy, which would this would be terrible. Summon skull. Okay. Maybe a little bit outdated at this point. Wow, these, these packs have not been great. We haven't pulled anything crazy. I think Confiscation is a common. We still haven't pulled it. Gravekeeper Servant. Cyber Jar. We will play Cyber Jar. Mirror Wall. That's the second Mirror Wall. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, a couple more equips. We got another Gravity Bind. DNA Surgery. Wow, okay. Parasite, Parasite. I've never seen that artwork, but that's actually kind of creepy. Painful Choice. Could be really nice. Okay, we got Chosen One. Dust Tornado. There's a good one. Dust Tornado. Asanga. Are we going to play Gate Guardian and play all the pieces? Maybe. We got two pieces of Exodia as well. It's about that time. Limiter removal. Okay, another Dust Tornado. That's just a rare. That's pretty good. Hain Hain's not bad. All right, that's a pretty good pack. Oh, we got the Larva Moth, the cousin of the Great Pequeno Moth. Let's see what else. Mask of Weakness. Messenger of Peace. Oh my gosh, Messenger of Peace is so annoying. <laughs> All right, four more packs here. Let's see. We haven't gotten too many crazy things. We got a few. Oh, Call of the Haunted. That's very good. Three Gravity Bind. <laughs> Three gravity by Big Shield Garden to Ultra Rare. I mean, that's a cool 20. You're never expecting a 2600 defense position monster. So that's interesting. Dark Hole. There we go. A super rare. The legendary Picanio Moth. We have Torrential in the same pack. Wait, how do we get an Ultra and a Super in the same pack? Hello? Did we break the opener? It's an error pack on video. Error pack, Super and Ultra. I don't know if this is cheating or not, but we're taking both of them. I mean, it's right there. We have to take them. Another Cyber Jar, another Mirror Wall. We have three Mirror Wall. We have two Cyber Jar. Wow, this is a... If this was an old school deck, we'd be insane. Final pack, and I feel like we already have an epic deck. So let's uh, let's just see what it is. We have Mask of Weakness again. Rush Recklessly is a better Mask of Weakness, to be honest. So that's nice. Painful Choice. We have two of those now. That's not bad. Revival Jam. And uh, okay. Okay. Pretty good from DB1. All right, you guys, that was just an absolute blast. I really love the blind auction structure. I think it just adds a completely different element to the traditional auction style, but looks like we're going full on anime protagonist or antagonist, depending on how you look at it, because we have a lot of uh, anime oriented cards to be looking at here first, and Yugi's Legendary Dex is our first product. And honestly, right off the bat, we get a BLS. I'm not gonna complain. That seems like it was worth $35,000 to me. As we continue down, down, though, I mean, this is just a lot of stuff that Yugi was known for playing in the anime. We've got a couple 2k defenders like Mystical Elf and Giant Soldier of Stone. We have the five pieces of Exodia. I think it would be very entertaining to try to pull this off, but I don't know if we're going to have the cards to lend ourselves this strategy. We'll have to see. But then we get to the spells, and this is another reason I was excited for these decks. Monster Reborn is a huge card to have in a series like this. So is Swords of Revealing Light. Brain Control is also just nuts. And there's even other stuff down here as well, I think think if we get down towards the end. Okay, maybe not, but there's Mirror Force. I mean, that's removal, so I'm not going to complain. When I hear Yugi's legendary decks, I figure Mirror Force would be in here. I think that's it for deck number one. Do we go into like Battle City now? We've got Jax, Queens, and King's Knight. The three Magnet Warriors are okay. So is Big Shield Gardna. Mmm... Okay, the spells, Pot of Greed, there it is. I knew one of these decks had to have Pot of Greed somewhere, so that's pretty good. Anytime we get draw power in the auction series, it's wonderful. We've got some fun stuff too, like Magic Cylinder, Spellbinding Circle. I think this is actually going to be a pretty okay investment. Dark Magician of Chaos is sick. If we can pull this off with Monster Reborn, that would be an amazing way to be able to do that. We need a discard outlet for this though, I think. Some Silent Swordsman, Silent Magician stuff. These are actually some of my favorite cards ever, if you guys didn't know. The gadgets are also not bad, but we only get, I think, one set of each. I have to go and check the Yugipedia to see how many of each of these cards we get because this website doesn't tell us quantity as I've learned in the past. Gold Sark's also a very strong card in a format like this. Overall, I mean, for the Yugi decks, I think that was pretty well worth 35k. Now, this is something that took me by surprise. I thought this was going to be a completely different deck from an older product, but this is actually uh, the ABC structure deck, which means that we actually have a real win condition in the ABC Dragon Buster 
We do only get one copy of each A, B, and C, but if we can manage to assemble the Dragon Buster, we are going to be off to the races, and that is going to be a nightmare for Ruxin to have to work around. Holy shit. Even cards just like X-Head Cannon are an 1800 vanilla. Like, that's not the worst in this series. Vampire Lord's also not terrible because it's basically unkillable. It depends on, like, what Ruxin pulled, if I'm being honest. Luster Dragon's a 1900 vanilla. Like, that's okay. Shrink, Enemy Controller, Mega Morph, Limiter Removal. These are all playable. And then we get down here. Crush Card, Virus, Negate Attack, Ring of Destruction, Call the Haunted even. We have more Revival. Oh, that Demok is looking more tempting by the minute. And even a Fiendish Chain. You know what? Not bad. I think this is actually a really good item item to get and I'm happy that Ruxin wasn't able to. It is time for the Dark Revolution 2. I paid a little bit more than I probably should have. Let's see if we get anything good out here. Another skull mark. Oh, it's a skull marked ladybug. Okay, trap jammer. Only battle phase, so it's eh, not too good, but it could come up and be like really nice. Okay, self-destruct button. We're probably not playing that card. All right, nothing too crazy there. It's not like DB1 where everything's really good. So far a bunch of bad cards though. Let's see if we can get anything good out of here. Dimension Fusion, that's pretty good. Dimension Fusion, if if we end up banishing stuff, Dimension Fusion is crazy. Otherwise, it's worthless, but that's a really good card. All right, so we've got one maybe playable card. A Smashing Ground, there we go. Zero Gravity is pretty good, too. We have a lot of Battle Traps already. Night Assailant is very good. Okay, this that's a pretty nice pack right there. Okay, halfway through. We have Wall of Revealing Light. It seems like it's probably not too good in this format. He probably has a lot of removal. Maybe we'll consider it. Draining Shield, that's... Interesting. Chaos Sork. Okay, that's the first Chaos Sork we've seen as a common. Maybe we throw that in if we have some decent uh, light and dark targets. Ooh, Compulse. We love our good Compulses. We always seem to pull those. That's not bad. And that's probably it for this pack. The 2100 Defender for Soul Tiger. That's not terrible. One more pack. We got a few cards out of here. Not too much, though. We've got... Sacred Crane. Okay, not the best stuff ever. All right, time for Battle City. I'm pretty sure that these are terrible. Okay, let's see if there's anything good. Oh, Necrofear. If we did play some darks, or is it darks or fiends? Three fiends. Okay, that's that's probably not coming up, to be honest. New Dark Magician, girl. We did get some tunes. Foolish Burials in here. Oh, that could definitely matter. I don't know if it's going to matter for us or not, but that's pretty good. Lava Golem. Oh, Lava Golem actually is probably really strong jinzo oh wow there's a lot of good cards in the set or at least old school good cards jinzo wow enemy controller is a good card there's a second jinzo okay another foolish burial that's pretty good red eyes black dragon super rare okay yeah the tune stuff's a little scary so uh at least there's no tune kingdom in here Cr oh no crush card is in this set are you serious? Yeah, this turned out to have a lot better cards than I thought it did. It has some really good stuff. Okay, Crush Card Virus. We got to be watching out for that. Oh, another Lava Golem. Could be pretty good. He's probably going to be playing this too. Oh my goodness. I hate that we tied for this. All right, so uh, yeah, Crush Card and Lava Golem. We got to be looking out for those. A second Econ. We also got to look out for that. Embodiment of Apophis is not terrible. It's not bad. Okay, this is a strange Foolish Burial number three. Econ number three. Man, these packs are actually turned out to be okay. Okay, wow. Those actually turned out to be pretty decent. We've got 12 Genesis Impact. Let's see what they could give us. Live Twins. All right, not crazy there. Next pack, we have Evil Twin Damage Juggler. This is definitely a decent side deck card if he does have some sort of burn, any sort of burn strategy. This is pretty good. I doubt he does, but this would be a decent on the side deck. Next pack, we have an Invoked card. We will play some Invoked Dark Mist. Okay. Three level twos. Is that ever going to happen on our deck? I'm not sure, but we did get Dark Mist. We can keep that in the back of our mind. Dry Tron Nova. We got the one of the best cards in the set. Okay. Oh, I missed. We got a... Oh, okay. We got to go back to the Link Monster we got. I can't remember what his name is exactly. That's a pretty good card. Okay. A couple Dry Trons. We play the Dry Tron deck. Whoa. Okay. That thing almost blew up on us. Another Dark Mist. We have two of those. Interesting. Too bad we can't play Invoked. You know, that'd be pretty good. Normal Summon, baby. All right. Okay. Yeah. Unicorn. That's the one we got before. Now we have two Nightmare Unicorns. Two Link Monsters, or two monsters with different names. So this is actually pretty easy to summon. And then you can discard a card and target on the field, return it to the deck. To the deck. That's pretty good as a Link to... Wait, what are we in right now? Okay, he doesn't get these. So we get a nice Link 3. Unfortunately, it is a Link 3. So it will take a little bit of commitment to get to it. But that's still a pretty nice card to have two of. Yeah, I think those Unicorns are honestly make these packs almost worth it, just winning these. We didn't pay too much for these. We have another Dark Mist. That's a third one. Drytron Zeta. We got a Nightmare Griffin. Two monsters with different names. This is a Link 4, though. If it's Link Summon, you can discard one card, target one spell, a trap card. In your graveyard, set it to deal. Cannot be activated the turn. 
uh, if this card was calling for the effect, activated draw one card. Okay, so if we do make it into Unicorn, we could potentially activate his effect and then go into Griffin, which is not bad either. So it's kind of nice to have these. Oh, we got Cyber Angels. Oh, Bottomless. Okay, that's pretty good. Nightmare Phoenix. Man, the Nightmares are really... These are rares in here, which is really nice. You can discard one card and target a spell or trap. Your opponent can destroy it. Co-linked. Uh, when this effect is activated, draw one card. Not bad because this is only a link too, so very easy to get into. It's a 1900, which is a fairly decent body for a pretty low cost. And then we can also get rid of a spell or trap. If it's something really problematic, it's definitely worth it. And we can draw off. It's code linked, so not bad. Okay, so these packs I think have been worth it just for the extra deck cards. Yeah, we get an evil twin, we get a Ben 10. Another juggler and another bottomless. Pretty good. But of course, we do now have to get to the pack opening itself. We only have a few packs to open relative to Ruxin. He may be opening a record number amount of packs for the auction series. But first up, we have 15 packs of Burst of Destiny. I'm not exactly sure what I'm expecting out of here, but let's flip up the first pack and see... Uh, I don't know how great this really is. You know, I'm not gonna lie, you know, Maneater Bug is already pretty good in a format like this, but mimicking Maneater Bug, the fact that it's able to just be a Maneater Bug with potential upside, I think this is actually just a great pull. Okay, this is actually hysterical. Reloaded Cylinder is a card in Burst of Destiny, and this has synergy with the Magic Cylinder that we have in the Yugi decks. I think we're gonna play this just to troll the shit out of him. Oh my God. Another mimicking man-eater bug. That's pretty good. It's removal. And then flip frozen is okay. If it's sent to the graveyard, change all attack position monsters your opponent controls to defense. So it sort of kind of just buys me time. That's like playable. I feel like this apex predation card is actually not the worst. If you control a normal summon or set monster, destroy all special summon monsters on the field until the end of your next turn after this is activated, you can't normal summon or set. That's a board wipe technically. I don't know how much special summoning we're doing, but that's kind of crazy. There's one of the cards most people are looking for out of Burst of Destiny, Taya the Sword Soul Swordmaster. It'd be cool if we could actually get a Sword Soul core, but I highly doubt that's going to happen. I don't know, maybe I spoke too soon. That's the level 10 Sword Soul Synchro. And so as long as we can maybe get a couple of other cards, maybe this is playable. Also, we got Sudden Shift. And at the very least, we have two copies of Taya. So being able to just like pop multiple cards that Ruxin has, that doesn't seem like the worst. Well, there's the Monster Reborn for the Sword Soul archetype. Two Taya, the Synchro 10 and a Monster Reborn. Maybe there's something there. There's our third man eater bug. That's kind of what I was looking for at this point. And here's the level six sword soul that doesn't really see much play, but it does have an effect that during the main phase quick effect, tribute a monster, special summon this card from your hand. I mean, it's a 2400 that we can summon at like quick effect speed. That's actually pretty good by this series standards. This card's just funny. Rebuild deer. This is like such a Konami card. Uh, 1800 beater isn't bad. When it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, target a cybers with 1500 or less attack, special summon it. I mean, it's a way to just get advantage for free. We do need to be playing Cybers, but this is at least slightly better than like a vanilla 1800 beater, so not bad. All right, you guys, only a few packs left of Burst of Destiny. Let's go ahead and flip up here and see if there's anything else we're looking for. Doesn't really look like it. And then our last pack, can we close on some more Sword Soul stuff? Mm, doesn't look like we're going to get that either. Maybe we could do something with it though. I haven't ruled it out completely, but next up we have some OTS packs to crack. Okay, so a slight miscalculation on our end. Uh, OTS pack 17 is actually not yet loaded into the pack opener. Get on that YGO Pro deck. But in any case, we're just going to go ahead and open 20 packs of OTS pack 16 instead. Maybe not as exciting, but I think this pack might be okay. So let's go ahead and flip up pack number one and see... Cyberstein, ladies and gentlemen, can we take advantage of this card? We'll have to look and see what other... Wait a minute, we have fusions from the Yugi deck. Oh, shit. Royal Magical Library is an okay defender, and Paid in the Dark Clown is a card that can actually replace itself, so if we get a play set of these, this actually isn't the worst out of these packs. Lion Alligator is a 1900 beater at the very least, so that outclasses some of the 1800s, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, we got the Forbidden Droplet. Is that even good? It has to be good in this series, right? Forbidden Droplet, $300. That would be insane if we pulled that in person. Another Pete and a Dark Clown, too. That's pretty good. Wow, I can't believe we got the ulti. Mausoleum of the Emperor is pretty nice because it allows us to get monsters onto the field by just paying life points for tributes instead of actually tributing monsters. That may actually make its way into the main deck. And another ultimate rare, and it's Firewall Dragon. I don't think Firewall is going to be that good, but we're going to play it because 
because why not? And only a couple packs left of OTS pack 16. Uh, not bad, honestly. I thought this was going to be much worse, but I think this completes our playset of Lion Alligator. So 1900 beaters, not bad. Lord British Space Fighter is also very funny because uh, it, it actually kills something in battle. It actually becomes kind of a threat, but very optimistic card. We'll see though. Final pack didn't look like anything good. That's not bad. I think overall, I think we got some pretty good stuff from both the Burst of Destiny packs and the OTS packs, but there's still one other thing we have to look at. Okay, guys, so we said we were going to do OTS 17, but the OTS 17 is not on the pack opener, so we're going back to 16, which is, like, even better, I think. So uh, it's probably a bad thing for me that Alex gets those. Uh, oh, okay. All right, not bad. Okay, I don't think any of those are going to really matter, but let's see. Oh, King of the Skull Servants. We do have some Skull Servants, guys. We can play Skull Servants. That'd be fun. Cybersaurus. Uh, Mausoleum of the Emperor. Interesting. That is an interesting one. Because you can, like, normal summon stuff by paying life points. So, we have something big and we wanted to summon a mausoleum. I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's anything we'd want to do that with. I can't think of anything. Power filter, token stampede. Tokens gain attack. Okay, that's probably not going to come up either. Interesting. You can, like, creature seizure with this thing. Okay, and they can't be destroyed by card effects. Also, it's a link, too, so it could help us get into some of our bigger links. So, maybe we throw it in the extra deck if we have extra space. A lot of Stardust support in here. Oh! Forbidden Droplet Ultimate Rare. We will Wait a second. Droplet is in 16. I'm getting confused with 17. Okay, cool. $310 card. We'll take it. Yeah, okay, yeah. Forbidden Droplet. That's crazy. All right, that's a good one. Cyberstein is in here. Okay. All right. That would be interesting. That would be interesting for sure. All right. Time for our Rise of the Duelist. I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we have 14 of these. It only shows nine because we ran out of room. These are our last. It's our last set to open here. All right. Are, are we going to be able to actually play any of these archetypes is the question. Dark Lord. We got a Cursed Dragon of the Cursed Dragon. That's a little redundant but okay We've got ancient warriors i think this is specific right yeah two beast warriors okay all right but blizzard okay is this i think this card's not like terrible terrible target one face up spell this turn negate the activated effects of that spell and the spell on the field the same original name sent to their car opponent's graveyard uh it is added to their hand instead eh, it's all right maybe side deck worthy if he has something face up that's crazy okay we got a few more packs let's see melfi mommy okay that's not gonna come up super heavy samurais they always tend to show up somehow oh dogmatic of punishments a common in here whoa okay wow this is just good this is just good removal but we can't special summon from the extra deck if we do that dogmatic of punishments a common i did not realize that that's pretty good and we, we're gonna have a lot of extra deck cards so that's not bad okay what did we get in that last pack all right okay let's go into our last six packs here It'd be nice to get an Ecclesia. That'd be pretty good. Because we could search out the... Uh... There's a couple of good ones in here. Uh, drill Driver. What is this? Two level fives. I don't think that's going to happen. Another Linker Bell there. Okay. Um, okay. I don't know what we're going to do with our monsters, to be honest. It's going to be interesting. Another Punishment. That's pretty, pretty good. One more pack here. Let's see what we can get. We got... Oh, come on. Get up there. Raid Raptor at level seven. It's probably not happening. All right, okay, let's see what we can do with this stuff. All right, you guys, so because we had $21,000 remaining at the end of the auction, I am able to cash in $4,000 for a random pack of any pack that is available on the pack opener. So looks like our first pack is actually an OCG pack of Cybernetic Horizon because we can't really differentiate between TCG and OCG. But I think that's fun, though. It adds another uh, just little fun element to everything we got going on here. So Cybernetic Horizon, are we going to play anything in this pack? It doesn't look like it. Let's go ahead and load up our next pack which is enemy of justice okay i'm down let's see what we got for this pack dimensional fisher might be a card icarus attack would be cool but i don't think we have any winged beasts necessarily uh so nah, dimensional fisher might be playable though we'll have to consider that next up is legendary duelist immortal destiny i think this is the either the bakura pack i'm not sure which but let's go ahead and see uh definitely looks like the bakura pack based off of the cards in here but if i'm wrong i'm sure you guys will correct me in the comments Looks like a bit of a dud pack, if I'm being honest. I don't know if there's really anything in here too fantastic. Rage of Ra is up next, it looks like. And I think this is our final pack, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, it looks like we have one more after this. Makura the Destructor is actually pretty good. I mean, being able to use trap cards like that, I'm not going to complain. That's a pretty playable card. I think tournament pack four is our last pack, ladies and gentlemen. And this pack eh, probably won't be that great. Uh, Gravity Bind, that could maybe make its way into the side deck. That could be an okay stall card. So that's it for the rest of our cash. I think it's a nice way to at least give us some incentive to keep some cash lying around. Let's go ahead and get the deck building. We've got a lot of work to do. All right, guys, here is the deck we are playing. 
Ice Barrier. Yeah, you've probably never seen this blade ever in your life, but it was at one point. Okay, it was never good. Anyway, so we have a Lava Golem. Then we have, uh, we're playing the Malik Lacey, which could be a, a brick, but if you do have five waters, you can special summon and discard two cards. So it's pretty crazy if we get that off. Also, it's a 2800. Then we've got a bunch of Ice Barriers. This is like, if they have four or more cards than you, you can special summon this. I don't know if this is going to come up. It's probably a terrible card that will side out, but we'll find out. This guy's fairly easy to special summon, even though he's a five. Then we've got a bunch of smaller guys. We've got some tuners. we got Gen X. we got the Gen X Undyne, which should help get into our synchro plays. We have a lot of nice synchros and extra deck cards. Then we have uh, a Gale Lizard, just the flip. He's like a, a Hain Hain, but better. We've got two Cyber Jars because it could just turn the game in our favor. A couple removals like Dark Hole, Smashing Ground, Forbidden Drop. It's crazy good. You know, we got to play it. Salvage is good for our waters. We got a uh, four. It's a level four lower monster reborn for ice barriers. This searches any ice barrier. Snatch steel is very good. Foolish barrier helps manipulate the graveyard for the Malaglacia and other things like that that we're going to bring back from the graveyard. Or it puts our tuner, the Fishburg Launcher, in the graveyard. We got enemy controller. I got three of these. We're only going to play one. One torrential, one call of the haunted to bring back stuff that we send to the graveyard with foolish burial, etc. Crackdown is we can steal his monster, link off, all that stuff. Two bottomless, two mirror wall. Two Dust Tornado, all just really good cards. Dogmatic Punishment could be crazy. We toss out, like, our uh, Trishula Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Plus, we get to pop a monster under 2,700. Unfortunately, we would have to wait the entire till the end of the next turn to actually do it. But it could it could work out pretty nice. Uh, we've got a Compulse and then a Fiendish Chain. So, all pretty good cards. Then our side deck, we've got Lava Golem. If we want to side into Burn, we have Lava Golem. We have Messenger of Peace. We have three Grave uh, Gravity Bind, etc. Then we have Genzo, Big Shield Gardener. It would be nice for the burn, so if he attacks into 2600. We've got another Gale Lizard. We've got a four star Lady Bunga Doom if he's on a lot of four stars. We've got this. If he's trying to burn us, we can decide this in. Another enemy controller that we have. Uh, Terror of Trishula is pretty good, but it's very specific, so we have so many good traps, I just left it out in the side. Heavy Storm Duster for back row if he has a ton of it. And then another Mirror Wall. Then to the extra deck, we have a lot of Nightmares. We've got the Griffin. We've got two Unicorns. We've got the Phoenix. Those are all pretty good cards. It's pretty easy to get to this one. And then threes and fours, we could get to them eventually. We've got three Gen 8 or Transversa. This is basically just if we need to link something off, like if we steal one of his cards. Or if we need to, uh, you can actually get the Creature Seizure effect if he puts it in the wrong zone. So I doubt he's really worrying about zones in this one, but maybe he will. We could flip, like, let's say he has one right in the middle zone, and we uh, have this card in the left extra deck zone. We put a card in the, in the very left zone. We can flip him. So we could steal something really crazy. Also, this gets us into our level three and four nightmares. We've got the beat cop. It's just another one because this one, it does say effect monsters. This is just two monsters. So if we need to get our three or four uh, link, we can get in there. Then our Brionic, we got Trishula, Trishula zero. We've got Duloran, Gungnir, Phonon, Pulse Dragon is just a nice way to get into those other synchro cards. So a pretty interesting deck. I don't know how good it'll be. I think our spell and traps are really nice. The Ice Bear is kind of gimmicky, but we will see if it works out. Let's get into the duels. You know, I'm not going to lie. This deck actually looks pretty fierce, and so I'm excited to be bringing this to today's duel. I'm very curious what Ruxin's going to be up to because he had to open like over a hundred packs of cards, so poor guy. I don't feel bad for him because my position is much easier. I just got to sit back and relax with my Yugi legendary decks and my structure deck Kaiba, and so here we are. Let's go ahead and do the card by card. So we have our ABC pieces, A Assault Core, B Buster Drake, and C Crush Wyvern. The idea here is that if we can get all these in the grave, we can actually bring out ABC Dragon Buster, and this is essentially going to be our win condition, although it's not going to be the easiest to achieve. We do have the Union Hanger Field Spell, which can get these to our hand a little bit easier, but we still need to get to all of the pieces, and that's going to be the larger issue. Of course, we have BLS as another bomb. Uh, these are light, so that's pretty cool. If we can't get to the Dragon Buster, we can banish them for BLS. We also have some other lights and darks in here as well. So Speaking of which, one of them is Dark Magician of Chaos. This is going to be crazy because we're, of course, playing with pre errata It's way more fun that way. And so hopefully we'll get to show this off, but uh, we'll see. We do have Monster Reborn and Call of the Haunted this out of the graveyard, which is ideally what I'm trying to do, but we could maybe tribute summon it. The format's usually slow enough. Keeper of the Shrine is just a 2100 defender for all intents and purposes. It's also dark, which is why I preferred it over something like Giant Soldier of Stone. Three copies of Lion Alligator. This card is actually not bad. It's 1900 attack. And if you have another Reptile, which he happens to be, then any reptile does piercing. So if Ruxin has a lot of low defense monsters, this card can actually get out of hand pretty quickly. We have a Marshmallow as another defender. This card is very funny because it can't be destroyed by battle and uh, if Ruxin attacks into it, he will take a thousand damage. So this can just sit here, maybe set up for a Dark Magician of Chaos play and just stall out if we need it to. Then we have three of the funniest card in the deck, Mimicking Man Eater Bug. Uh, reading this card again, this card's actually kind of fucking crazy. So it's Man Eater Bug on flip, target a monster on the field and destroy it 
target, and if you do, this card gains attack equal to that monster's original attack, then you can change this card's type to that monster's original type. So, if this card survives a turn and isn't basically just facing death from being attacked, we can actually have it get bigger than the 450. Also, this can't be killed by battle, so this actually will just stay on the field even after it gets flipped. So that's pretty sick. That helps set up for some tribute plays, and uh, also can't be destroyed by effects of monsters with its same type. Could matter, but honestly, I'm actually kind of impressed with how good this card is in a sealed format. Three copies of Paint in the Dark Clown. This is another dark for BLS, but it's also a monster that just replaces itself, so that's kind of cool, so I'm happy to have this in here. Skill Dark Magician is just a 1900 beater. Sword Soul. We actually do have some Sword Soul stuff in here. So we have the level six that, as a quick effect, contributes summon itself to the field, and then we have two copies of Sword Soul of Taya, which is not bad. We can actually banish a Sword Soul or a Worm from Grave to summon the token, and then that means if we have uh, the Sword Soul level six, we can actually go into our Sword Soul Synchro 10, which probably will just win the game by itself if it hits the field. So I figure, you know what? Let's give it a shot. It's a very optimistic case, but you know, it could come up. The game sometimes goes slow enough. Then we also have a Luster Dragon as a 1900 beater and X Head Cannon as an 1800. It's also light. That's kind of why I wanted to have it in here. That's it for the monsters though. For the spells, Brain Control, Enemy Controller, Forbidden Droplet. Still can't believe we have this. Ideally, I want to dump Dark Magician of Chaos off of this, so that way we're going to be able to get it into the graveyard a bit easier. Gold Sark, this can just search like our best card, in this case like BLS or something like that. Reborn Pot of Greed, Shrink, Soul Taker, Swords of Revealing Light, and Union Hanger. And then for the trap cards, Call the Haunted, Fiendish Chain, Magic Cylinder, Magical Cylinders. I can't believe we're playing this. This is such a troll, but Ruxin is never going to live it down if we resolve it. Mirror Force Ring of Destruction, Spellbinding Circle, and a Sword Soul Blackout. This is a card I'm not too optimistic about because we only have three Sword Soul monsters, but it is removal. It's basically like a two for two, and so that could really come up in a slower format like this. I'm actually kind of impressed. The spell and trap lineup for this deck is actually pretty solid, and so I can't wait to see how it performs. The extra deck, we have the Dragon Buster. We have the Su Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign Chang Ying. Then we also have a Su Ship. I don't think we're going to summon this, but it's slightly bigger, so I figured I'd throw it in. Uh, Magic -y Spirit Vepartu is actually pretty good. It only needs two level fours, and if it's Xyz Summon, detach a material, add a level four or higher normal monster from deck or grave to hand, so this allows us to just search a card for free, so that's pretty cool, actually. Firewall's in here, probably not summoning this, but who knows, and then Geonator Transverser is a cute way to steal some of Ruxin's cards if we absolutely have to, so I figured we'd throw this in here as well. And then the side deck, I have the gadgets in here. I'm not sure if these are going to come up. I think just having bigger bodies is better, but we'll see. If I feel that having the card advantage might matter, I'll throw these in. Heavy Mech Support Armor is actually kind of a cool card. If it's normal summon, you can target a Union Monster and Special Summon it, so that means we can actually get one of these back, and I figure that's okay, although we do need to have one of those specifically, which isn't why it's too great. Dimensional Fisher is cute, but the problem is it kind of contradicts our strategy, so I figured I'd throw it in the side deck. Megamorph's funny just to be able to get our stuff massive. We have Mystic Box, which is bad removal, but it is still removal at the end of the day. Power Filter prevents players from special summoning monsters with a thousand or less attack, so maybe that'll come up. Who knows? Spell Shattering Arrow in case we need to destroy face-up spells. The Sword Soul Monster Reborn is in here as well. Triple Apex Predation. I still think this card is nuts. If he's on a very special summon heavy strategy, maybe this comes up. Crush Card's also in here. I think the only target I have for this is Peyton the Dark Clown, but, oh, I guess Keeper of the Shrine is a target too, but, you know, it maybe it'll happen. It depends on the type of deck he's playing in all honesty. And then we have a negate attack if we need just something else to just blank attacks. I figured this card's not that bad. Guys, I cannot wait to see what Ruxin brought because I guarantee you it's going to look nothing like this. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. What's up, buddy? 106 packs. How you feeling over there? <laughs> My hands are hurting a little bit. A lot of pack opening. I had to rip open a few. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it took a while, but now you just don't know what we're on, so it's going to be interesting. I don't have a clue. To, to I'll be honest, buddy. <laughs> uh, it, it could be a wide... Like, the only clue I have is because I also had to open the OTS packs. I know some of the cards that are in there, but like yeah. everything else, it could be a mixed bag. So I'm excited right. to see what you ended up coming up with. 106 packs. That has to be a record for this series, I'm convinced. But yes. when you win seven auctions, I don't know what else I'm expecting. Uh, <laughs> my deck, as you were saying, it's uh, probably a lot more clean cut. I mean, just yeah. a couple structure-ish decks than, you know, maybe throw some other random cards in. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, uh, we'll I got see some fun got. stuff in store. I'm ready to get into it if you are, buddy. 
All right, let's do this. All right, let's do it. Let's shout out the patron too. It is Jacob Griffith. Thank you for the support. Oh. All right, fellow paper gang enthusiast. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, oh. I, I guess a fellow rock raider there as well. Oh, buddy, buddy, what, ah! buddy? <laughs> this is the more exciting part of the game. Oh, yeah, okay. we won the battle. Uh, yeah, maybe you'll epic, win the match uh, too. Maybe you'll some win epic the match. Rock paper scissors wars. Uh, All right. Let's see what you got, buddy. Going first, uh, I see. Good luck. Look at that fully loaded extra deck over there. Yeah, look at that. 15 cards. Okay. I'm going to start off by drawing a card. Mm hmm. How do we want to start this? I think I'm going to go. We're going to set. Do I want you to see what I'm doing yet? That's the question. Ooh. Trying to keep it a secret, huh? Yeah, it's, it's a little early, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start off by normal summoning my strategist of the ice. Bearing. Okay, we get to see what he's <laughs> up to. The man himself, uh, sure. Okay. The strategist. Okay, so you did have some pretty scary spell and traps in your uh, your structure decks you got. So I got to be thinking about that most of the time. Okay. Are you going to use that strategist of the ice barriers effect? Oh, uh, that's, that's, it's, it's tough. I think I'm going to start off. I'm going to activate my foolish burial. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to send my fishborg launcher to grave. That's not bad. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's not bad. Um, I cannot special summon this until I have another water though. Okay, so let's uh, let's do that. Okay, do we want to pitch anything and get crazy and draw a card? It could be interesting. You yeah, have talked I, about yeah. it before. Anytime you have a chance to draw cards in this series, it's usually pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to activate the strategist effect. I'm going to pitch to Graveyard my Warlock of the Ice Barrier. Sure. Draw another card. Okay. Okay. Interesting draw. I'm going to set a card, and I'm going to end. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I will draw for my turn now. Anything in the standby phase? No. Okay. Uh, main phase one. I'm just going to set, and I'm going to set a pair like you did, and I'll pass the turn. All right. Okay. Starting off uh, Starting off slow. I'm not a big fan of that. Setting cards. You did have... You have a lot of cards that setting... Uh, you just have such so many old cards. I'm really worried about what those sets could be. I do. You have a lot of new cards, though, so I'm equally as worried about that. That yeah, it's fair. It's fair. It's a little early, but I do kind of want to do this. Let's normal summon my Gen X controller. Okay, always a fantastic card to be normal summoning. Sure. Yeah, fantastic card to be normal summoning. All right, will I do it? Is the question. What are you gonna make, buddy? You've got two back row. You've got two back row. It, it, if you got compulse or something, it'd be a <laughs> little bit, little bit bad. It's risky. Uh, it is risky for sure. So I, you know what? Let's uh, let's do it. I'm gonna special summon my Gungnir of the Ice Barrier. Ooh, okay. Right, do you have a response? I do not have a response. You do not have a response. That is nice. So I'm gonna discard up to two cards. So I'm gonna discard one card. So I'm gonna send a graveyard my Prior of the Ice Barrier. I'm gonna hit that set. Mmm. Hmm. Was hoping that wouldn't be the case. What do we want to do now? In response to Gungnir's effect, I'm going to tribute the Mimicking Man-Eater Bug. <laughs> oh, the retrain! <laughs> and we are going to summon Sword Spole Auspice Chunjun. Uh, with his effect. So during the main phase as a quick effect, I can tribute a monster and special summon this card from the hand. So I guess technically tributing the monster is cost. So do you have wow. a response to the activation here? Uh, I do not have a response to the activation. That's fine. Okay. So we will bring him out to the field. I was really hoping you were going to attack into the mimicking man-eater bug. Such a retrain of a uh, old classic. But Yeah, I'm glad that I didn't do that. Okay. The card's actually kind of nuts, too, if you read it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've never actually read it, so uh, it gains attack. Oh, cool, yeah. <laughs> and it cool. can't be killed by battle, which is if I, just absurd. If I had attacked him with this thing, you'd be insane. Like, this game would be over. Probably, probably. Uh, but uh, I had to distribute him off to get some value, so. Okay, so you have a 2400 on the field now. Uh, does it have an effect after it's on the field, is the question. Before damage, if worm monster, your opponent. Uh, it does, monster. but it's pretty irrelevant for its other effect. Okay, now I have to think again. You've got two back row. You do have access to mirror forcing, and I got to worry about that this whole episode. Mm -hmm. I guess technically I could destroy both of our monsters if you attack with your Gungnir, which I suppose yeah. is relevant. I shouldn't. Yeah, that, under, I shouldn't downplay. Relevant. Yeah, that is pretty well, relevant. Okay, because you have that, I'm gonna activate Spashing Ground. Uh, yep, that'll take care of that. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fun while lasted. We're gonna go to battle. I'm gonna attack. Let's hope you don't have mirror force. 
25. Yeah, I'll take 25. Sure. Okay, 25. Uh, and with that, I will pass. Okay. Uh, Gungnir is pretty good. Uh, we'll bad. go into main one if you'll allow it. That is fine. Yep. I'm going to activate Call of the Haunted, targeting my Sword Soul Auspis Chunjun. Okay. So we'll bring him out. Then I will proceed to battle. Okay, so if you attack me, what is exactly is going to happen here? You can destroy both cards. I have the potential to, before damage calc, uh, I can I can destroy the both of our monsters. Destroy. Correct. So it's before oh, damage calc. So if I attack, yeah. you can do something on attack declaration yeah. before we get to damage calc. So is me entering battle phase okay? That, yeah, you can enter battle phase. That's fine. We'll attempt to attack into your gun near. Okay, uh... On attack declaration, I will activate enemy controller, and I'm going to put him to defense mode. Mm, don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, that's fine. So he'll go to defense. Uh, okay. Second main, I'm going to set another card, and I'm going to set a monster, and I'm going to throw it to you. Okay. Interesting. Enemy controller is a good one. Enemy controller is definitely a good card. Okay, we've got another set card. The last set card was scary, so I'm a little bit scared of that thing. <laughs> um, Yours was scary too. Econ's a good card. Yeah, it's a good card. Um, okay, let me reread this thing. It, is this when this attacks or in general? It battles. Okay, when so it if battles, I attack, so it, it either way. Correct. Right, okay. Um, I'm going to go to battle. I'm going to hit over your set. The new set, huh? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. fine. It is Peyton the Dark Clown. Ah, So I will yeah. use his effect. I will banish him, and we're going to get another clown from my deck. Yeah, he's not bad. He's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. He just floats. Yeah, main two. I'm going to set one more, and I'm going to pass. Okay, we'll draw. Go to main one. I'm going to re-switch my Auspice Chunjun to attack. Okay. Battle phase. When you enter battle, I'm going to activate Dust Tornado and hit your Call of the Haunted. Why would you do that? No! <laughs> All right. Get this so... guy out of here. This guy's an issue. Yeah, he's a problem. Okay, yeah, oh, so... he has an irrelevant effect. By the way, he can destroy any card he wants, though. Yeah, any card he wants. <laughs> any, any extra deck monster, sir. Excuse me. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, okay, I didn't I think this that. was actually going to come up for his effect, yeah. but apparently I'm wrong. Uh, yeah. Okay. Second main, I'm going to set a card and throw it to you. Okay, you're just gonna keep getting. You got one more clown, probably. I would guess. Potentially. Oh, not battle. Sorry. Uh, let's go. You should have these clowns too. These were in the OTS packs. They were. I think I only got one. From Did you I really? <laughs> yeah, oh my I'm god. Sure. I saw him once. I might have missed him, but I I only remember getting one. And I was like, well, that's unfortunate. Great. I mean, I don't know if you'd play it anyway, but yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna enter battle. I'm gonna hit over your petten. Sure. Uh, I'll trigger the effect. Get another one. Okay. Let's grab him. He's in here somewhere. Top of the deck, of course. Yep. <laughs> okay, and then I will pass it back to you. Interesting. All right, we'll go ahead and draw then. Uh, nothing in standby, I'm assuming? Nope. All right, let's go to main one then. All right, uh, third time's the charm, I guess. I'm going to monster reborn my what sword in soul. The world? <laughs> Leave this guy out of here. Is that fine? That's fine. Let's bring him on back. Uh, I see. Yeah, I saw Monster Reborn. I was like, oh no, when you when you got this. I will normal summon Lion Alligator. Oh, okay. Another card from our OTS packs. I will go to the yeah. battle phase. All right. I'm gonna go Sword Soul into Gungnir. Do you have a response? No, I don't. Okay. Damage step. I'm going to shrink your Gungnir. I'm going to shrink my Gungnir. So it'll go down to 1250. I also have a card that can be activated in damage step. I'm going to mirror wall. Oh, fuck. So it looks like that halves me, correct? So I become 1250 and you become 12. Uh, yeah, that's how that works. Shit. Mirror wall, really? Okay. Uh, yeah, deserved. Okay. So I'm fairly certain then I can't use the effect of my guy anymore. So I'm just going to take 50 here. Yeah. And he goes to grave. Your Gungnir's down to 1250. Uh, mirror wall is a card. It's a card, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to pass then because I can't do it. I can't believe you outed this card three times. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just going to get rid of me. And I, I was like, this mirror wall is irrelevant. But then you went that route. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. During my standby phase, I have to decide if I want to keep this for 2000. It's not bad. I mean, 
it's not that much. I mean, it's 2000 It's not that expensive, to be honest. It did save your ass, too. It did save me. I, honestly, with 8K, I think I'm going to pay. No, nah, do I need to pay for it is the question. I don't think I need to pay for it. Okay. If you can out my guy, then you can out my guy, and it's not going to matter. You're not attacking over him, probably. I was going to say, or unless I can out him by battle, then it matters. Yeah, then it matters. If you can out me by battle, if you have another shrink, it's possible. Yeah, we'll send it to grave. Okay. okay. We're not sure. We're not going to take the damage. I'm going to trigger my Gungnir. Okay. I'm going to pitch my Cryomancer of the Ice Barrier. And I'm going to go for your... Let's see. What do I want to go for? I'm going to go for this set card. Hmm. Do you really have to pick that one? <laughs> I did have to pick that one, yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about this. That's a problem. Well, I suppose I will chain enemy controller and I will right. put Gungnir to defense. <laughs> okay. Um, I can just change it back, right? <laughs> yes, you can. That's why all this right. doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, okay, all right. Uh, well, then I will do that. I will change it back to attack position. Mm -hmm. I was really hoping you just attack so I could do that. Okay. You have one more set. You have two monsters. Well, I could go for the attack. If you have your own mirror, I don't think you do because you did not get Dark Beginning, and that's where I got mine. So Mirror Wall seems like it would be in the Ice Barrier Structure deck, too. It looks like ice, you know? It does. If it, it fits perfectly, let's go to battle. I'm going to attack, and I'm going to hit into... I think the safe play is hitting the Petten, just in case you do have some sort of a crazy battle trap. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to go to main two. I'm going to set a card, and then I'm going to pass. A back row, too. And you really wanted that back row, because you could have pitched it for Gungnir. Could have pitched it, yeah. Let's go to main one. I am going to set a monster. Right. And I'm going to end my turn. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go to battle here. I'm going to hit into your lion alligator now. Hmm. Viewing extra deck. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll take six here. That's fine. Yep. Okay. Lion alligator. And down. I'm gonna pass. Go ahead. We'll draw main phase one. Oh, what do we do now? Uh, I think we just pass. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. Um. All right. Let's go to main one. This is some uh, weird Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> This is weird. This is really weird. Uh, I'm really scared of that set, to be honest. You got uh, a gun you here. Have, you have not flipped it, so if it was something wild, then you probably would have flipped it last turn. But it could be something that's like uh, destroyed by battle or something. Oh, and I don't feel like you would play a card like that, but maybe you would. Um, man, what was in those? Uh, what was in your packs? That's the question. <laughs> Uh, I see you peeking into that graveyard now. What are you up to? Yeah, just looking around, you know. <laughs> just browsing. <laughs> <laughs> just browsing the content. Okay, I think I am just going to go to battle. I'm going to hit into your face down. It is B Buster Drake. Should not be a surprise that this is here. I will use the yeah. effect if that's okay. All right. With it, uh, since it was sent from the field to the graveyard, I can add another one to my hand, or another piece to my hand, excuse me. So right. I will add the A Assault Core. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm going to go to main two. I'm going to set another card, and I'm going to pass. Or back row. That's scary. Uh, okay. I'll go ahead and draw main one on my end here. I feel like I have to go for it as much as I don't think this is going to work, but you know, fortune favors the bold, I suppose. <laughs> uh, I will summon BLS. <laughs> summon BLS. We're going to oh. bring him out. Do you have a response? That is pretty, pretty good. It's not All bad. Right, you, got, you got BLS. Huh, let me think. I figure you might have something for this. Yeah, BLS is okay. I did not think we'd make it this far. All right. Yeah. Uh, effect to banish your Gungnir. Okay. I will normal summon a Assault Core. Uh, okay. I will go to battle and hit for 19. 
Hit for 19 is okay. And I will pass the turn on that. Go ahead, buddy. All right. Oh, interesting. Main phase one. I'm going to activate Snatch Deal. Oh, no. <laughs> Why? Uh, oh, I'll take him. Your Dark Beginning Packs. Uh, dark Beginning Packs, not bad. Um, gross. Yeah. And, and this Assault Core is when it's destroyed, correct? Well, I don't have any other targets in Grave, so it doesn't, it's not going to oh, do anything. Grave. Yeah, okay, it adds from Grave. grave. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Am I Do dead? I I'm close. Maybe. We'll see. I'm close. You're close, but you're not dead. Um, I'm going to activate Medallion of the Ice Barrier and add one Ice Barrier monster from my deck to my Sure. Hand. Sure. Okay. I can't believe there's a threat that I might lose to Ice Barriers. Oh <laughs> okay. Let's see. I just love how Ice Barriers have a non-once-per-turn Rota, and the deck is yeah, still yeah. not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the deck's awful. But I was like, this if I play this deck, you have to play this card. I mean, you of can course. any single one. Like, it's, it's so good. good. Okay, I'm going to add to my hand a Speaker of the Ice Barrier. Okay, sure. That's the graveyard. Okay, what is your last phase down? That's the question. <laughs> it's been sitting there the whole game. <laughs> it's been sitting there the whole game. I'm going to go ahead and activate my Freezing Chains of the Ice Barrier. Okay. I can target one level four lower ice barrier monster in the graveyard and special summon it. Yeah, this card's pretty good. Sure. I think I'm going to go with the Strategist and bring him out. All right. He's a decent body. Uh, then I'm going to go to battle. Sure. Hit with BLS. Buddy, you ready to find out what that card was? Is it Mirror Force? It's not Mirror Force. But it's Magic Cylinder. Uh, Take that. I 3K see, to the face. I did see you had that. That's a pretty good card. It's not bad. Okay. It also does negate the attack. So BLS doesn't yeah. get to go again here. Okay. In that case, we're going to go to main two. And let's see. Do we want to do anything else? Uh, I don't think so. You can go. Okay. We'll draw. <gasps> Standby phase. I'll gain a thousand life points from Snatch Steel. Oh, my gosh. But then. I don't like that gas. Pot of green for the follow-up, oh, baby. Let's go. Oh, buddy. And it just keeps getting better because just no. like how you snatch steeled my BLS, I'm going to take his ass right back to my side of the field. Brain uh, control, okay. baby. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, my God. Off the top. Unbelievable. Uh, I will just go to battle. Hit. That is fine. That's 14, and it will try again in a row to the face. That's it. Oh! oh! There's no way I came back! Wow! I am so dead! <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't believe I lost that. I thought for sure we were in control. I had a torrential set, by the way, just letting you know. Which, which will give you a little really? hit for the it'll give you a hit for the next two games, oh but God. I just want if you to I know would have that. summoned, I was dead. Oh yep, my you god. You know, dead. buddy, what what can I say? One sacky card beats another sacky yes. card. Yep, you're right. There's a lot of sacky <laughs> cards playing play there. Uh, I'm gonna go first again. Sure, that makes sense. To be fair, your Gungnir put in a ton of work. It, it uh, did that too was much a work. disaster. Yeah, yeah. It, it was, it was <laughs> insane. Okay, I'll draw. Good luck, though, buddy. Yeah, you too. I will draw my card. Uh, okay. Let's start by setting a monster. Let's set one, and I'm going to set two, I think. And then I will pass it over. Go ahead. All right, the fun U set or U set. set. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and just start things off with a skilled dark magician. Okay. All right, pretty let's good. Try card. to hit into the set. <laughs> Face the wrath of my big shield, Gardner! Oh my god! You <laughs> uh, pulled this out of dark beginning. Fuck. I did. <laughs> ultra wow. rare. <laughs> he and yeah, that's an ultra too. I was gonna say that's not common. All right. Uh, well, I got fucking played there. Uh, second main. I guess I'll set two. Throw it to you, buddy. You get to keep your guard on defense. Congratulations. Yeah. I don't know if he's that good after that, but it was pretty fun for once. Okay, got a main phase one. I'm gonna activate foolish burial. Okay, we've seen this before. Sure. We have seen this movie before. Didn't work out last time, though. Now, what do we want to send? Last time we sent the launcher. But we're probably going to end up with a big shield garden and grave, so it's not really going to be very good. <laughs> I just realized you didn't even use the launcher last game. 
Well, I had it. I had it Earth because I had to use uh, the Gen X uh, or uh, right, a Dark Gen right. X you, controller. You had the tuner. Yeah, yeah, you had the tuner. Okay, so it makes it a little bit of a tough decision about what I want to send here. You know, I think that we don't want to draw the launcher if it has no pack. So we're going to send that anyway. So if it does, okay. it, it does come up, maybe. All right, we're going to go to grave. I'm going to activate my medallion of the ice barrier. Here we go again. Let's, yep. Uh, uh, I'm also getting spell counters on the skilled dark magician. Yeah, while you're so you can this, special summon so. your dark magician. Uh, <laughs> Buddy, okay. you don't think I'm playing it? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, <laughs> Wait till the turn passes around to me and you'll find <laughs> out. Special summon dark magician. I'll just quit. I'll add my cryomancer thy spear to hand. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and summon the cryomancer. Oh, he's a tuner. Oh, shit. He yeah, here we go yeah. again. He's a tuner. Uh, do you have no response, I assume? No response. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got level six out there. I think our best option here is to make a Brianac. Sure. All right. Pretty good. And I think for the fun of the series, we should be playing with Priorata. So... If you want to be able to use this effect more than once per turn, you know, feel my, be my guess. Do I want to go to battle? Yeah, of course I do. Let's go to battle. Uh, mm, do I want to go to battle? Yeah, let's do it. Buddy, what was the card you were worried about in the last game? Uh, I think it went by Mirror Force. It does. It is. Okay, it's a pretty good card. All right, we'll go to the grave and I will pass it over. Okay, looking pretty good. I will go to main phase one, and I will attack with my skilled Dark Magician. Attack with skilled. Okay, we'll take 19. Second main, I will set a card and throw it to you. All right, that's great. Um, This is not looking good at all. I'm going <laughs> to... This is really not looking good. Were you all in on the Bria? <laughs> possibly. I mean, possibly. All right, I'm going to set one, and I'm going to pass. Okay. We'll draw. Uh, main one, I'm just going to flip the Crush Wyvern. Uh, what does this do? Uh, so the important part of its text is that if it's, it's separate destroyed. field to grave, I can special summon a new monster from hand. Okay. All right. Uh, that is fine. I will go to battle. Hit for 12. Okay. And try it for 19. And 19. All right. Wow, they're both going through. Okay. Uh, second main, I will set one, and I will throw it to you. Okay. In phase, I'm going to dust tornado that. <laughs> yes. I did not want to lose to that. That would not be cool. Oh, that would have been so funny. Uh, no, it, it so wouldn't. Funny. It would not be funny. All right. Ah, uh, what do I want to do here? I'm going to... Okay, main one, I'm going to set another card, and I'm going to pass. Okay, we'll draw. Uh, I'm going to try to go to battle. Okay, that's fine. Hit for 12. Uh, when you attack decoration, I'll activate Call of the Haunted. What are you targeting? Brianic. Sure, that's unfortunate. All right, uh, second main then. I need to kill that, otherwise this will get very bad very quickly. I will soul taker your Brio. Oh, okay, so I gain a thousand here. Correct. It's okay. the snatch steal of monster destruction, effectively. Okay. Brio's gone. Okay. Call Pretty the good. haunted with it. Um I'm gonna overlay. Okay. Never thought I'd be summoning this. I'm going to summon Magicky Spirit Vipartu. Oh, I got to read this thing. <laughs> now, this is actually pretty cool. So if it's Xyz Summon, I can detach a material, uh, which I will attempt to do if the summon is fine. And I can add a level four or higher normal monster from deck or grave to hand. Oh, okay. So... If this summon is successful, it works. Otherwise, no. Correct. Well, I mean, because I'm assuming you'll just kill him. But yeah. <laughs> I am... I'm going to go ahead and Torrential this. Yeah, I was afraid of that. But I wanted to try to start getting some value here. So that's fine. So he's gone. Uh, and with it, I haven't summoned this turn. So I can actually just go ahead and set one and throw it to you. Okay. Okay. Couldn't let me resolve the Vapart. That would have been so cool. Oh, yeah, it would have been cool. I'm going to normal summon Revealer of the Ice Barrier. Okay, this card's not bad. Okay, um, I can discard one card and special summon one Ice Barrier tuner. So I'm going to discard 
my dance princess of the ice barrier. I'm going to special uh, summon. In response, okay. I'm going to fiendish chain your Fe revealer of the chain. ice barrier. Okay. All right. That's fine. Uh, the freezing chains will be met by my fiendish <laughs> chain. <laughs> A lot of chains going here. All right. I will pass. Yeah. I don't want you getting that tuner because that would just allow things to get out of hand way too quickly. I will go ahead and normal summon sword soul of Taya. Oh, sword souls, huh? Not bad. Uh, we'll hit for a hundred here. That matters? Uh, he does not have an effect that matters. I can just banish a sword soul or a worm and summon the token. Okay. okay. And if he synchro summoned, he has another effect. So from now it's pretty irrelevant. Okay. Unlike the other time I said the effect was irrelevant, and that was actually very relevant. <laughs> very, very, very relevant. I had to waste a lot of cards on that. Okay, uh, you were attacking. Is that what the deal was? Correct. So 100 attack, if that's fine. Or 100 damage, rather, if this goes through. Damage step. Shit. Fuck, not again. <laughs> oh, no. All right, so I go down to nine. I take eight here, and Taya goes to the grave. That's unfortunate. Yep. Go ahead. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, uh, I'm kind of I will stuck, be stunned though. if you're playing for this, if you're oh, keeping this Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm not paying for this. Uh, Shocker. But, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm setting one, and I'm passing. All right, I will draw. I will set another one, and I will set another back row. Wow, Go ahead. you are just walling up over here. I don't like this. Okay. I'm doing what I can. <laughs> I think I'm going to pass. Sure. I'll draw. Oh, that's funny. Uh, we'll go to main one. I'm going to flip summon Mimicking Man Eater Buzz. Oh, no. <laughs> so we're going to pop the revealer, if that's okay. That is fine, yeah. And now Mimicking Maneater Bug gains uh, attack equal to the monster's original attack. And I can also change the Maneater Bug's typing to your monster's typing, which is a spellcaster. And you know what? I think I will do that. So my Mimicking Maneater Bug is now a 2150 attack spellcaster. <laughs> That's pretty annoying, yeah. I'll go ahead and put that in the chat here so we remember. And yeah. this Fiendish Chain is also in the grave. I will just go to battle and I will hit for 2150. Okay, we're going to take it. I can't believe this card is real. This card is nuts. Yeah, it's actually uh, I not will... bad. It's not bad. I'll set another one and pass. Go ahead. All right, I will draw. Okay, that is interesting. I'm going to activate Dark Hole. Oh, fuck. Yeah, damn. I had another Mimicking Maneater bug wow. in the ways. Oh. These cards are OP. It's so good. Oh, you and the then Shrine. Dr that guy's Keeper of the Shrine. <laughs> yeah. okay. Not bad. It's not, he's a big defender, that's uh, for sure. But all right, a, buddy. Uh, I will pass. Well, you cleaned up pretty well. Uh, prevented you from dying. That would have been so funny. I will normal summon Peyton the Dark Cloud. Oh. <laughs> it's not five. It's not a thousand attacks. All right, wait. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> Nothing to worry about here. You were just ready to shotgun I anything was I was going to summon. <laughs> I was ready. How do I flip this down? Uh, uh, I just it put should it in my hand. Okay, yeah, now I was we'll going to say, it. you should have a set option. Yeah, go, man. I'll hit for 500. I wasn't expecting that. All right. Yeah, yeah. Outplayed. The ultimate Outplayed. outplay. All right. Yeah, well, I'll, uh, now I'll you pass. know I have that. That's great. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Out my clown, you fool. Oh, no, <laughs> not this. Not like this. Okay, I'm going to set a card. I'm going to pass. Okay. See, it's not that bad. I'll draw. Oh, perfect. Fantastic. All right. I'm going to put my clown to defense. Oh, you're going to set your clown. Okay. And I'm going to set another card. Oh, and I'm going to pass the if turn. If you have another man-eater bug. I mean, I've already been through two. What are the chances I have a third? Uh, oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, uh, God. I don't like that. Now, that is interesting. I don't know. I don't know if this is the right play, but I have to do this. I am going to normal summon. Uh, if you could remove your two monsters from your side of the field, please. Yo, you have a fucking lava goal? Uh, <laughs> but I want to set it. Or a special summon in defense, sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to lava golem. Okay. Uh, let's see what card you had. What What was that? Another pet? It was another pet. Oh, what a yeah, waste. Another okay, pet well, I'm going to... And then I'm going to set... I guess, actually, I can actually trigger the pet. So... Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do that, actually, here. Okay, so I'm going to banish one. the pet. And get, yeah, I can only get one, unfortunately. So we're going to do that. Okay. And I'm going to set another card. And I i am going to <laughs> pass. Lava Golem was not a ice card, Ruxin. Yeah. <gasps> no. 
No. Well, no, okay. No. Standby phase. I'm gonna take a thousand yeah, from you're lava. You're gonna take golem. a thousand first. Do that. Okay. I'm gonna switch lava golem to attack mode. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm also gonna switch Peyton to attack load. Load. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go to battle. I'm gonna attack with lava golem. Okay. I'm going to activate crackdown. I'm gonna Are you gonna take the lava golem? I'm gonna take the lava golem because it cannot activate effects while I own it. Oh my god! You can't attack with it. I either, can't attack though, so. either, but it's just going to be also sitting can't there. You can't attack with it. That is true. And now my Peyton's in attack. That's annoying. Okay. Uh, second main. I'm gonna set one, and I'm gonna pass the turn. Okay. You've got two. You've got a Peyton. I'll draw. This is gonna be an interesting one. This is, these are some weird games. All right. Uh. Okay. I'll be honest. I'm glad you cracked down the lava golem because that would have really punished the play I was thinking of making. Dang it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Ah, uh, this is a w this is a weird position we're in right now. You've got two yeah. face downs. You've got a petten. You're on 1350 life. You're like one shot from death at this exactly. point. Exactly. Yeah, that's why I'm a little worried. I'm really scared of Black Cluster Soldier. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> I would be too if I were you. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna set another card and I'm gonna pass. Okay. Uh, I was about to say rest assured I don't have a light engraved, but that's a lie. Uh. <laughs> Rest assured, you have the f you have everything you need. I will, however, present you with another problem you're going to have to worry about. Buddy, what card were you worried about uh, taking care of earlier in the game with your Dust Tornado? Magic Cylinder, Mirror Force. Uh... Mm -hmm. Magic Cylinder. It's Magic Cylinder. Okay. I will activate Magical Cylinder, <laughs> which allows me to set a magic cylinder directly from my deck or graveyard. You have multiple magics. Oh, from the graveyard. Oh, great. Okay, yeah. so... I thought this was just from deck two. I didn't realize this was graveyard. Oh, so I can no longer attack with anything over 1350. Okay, that's good to know. I mean, unless you can clear the magic cylinder. Unless I can clear possibly. the magic cylinder, which is not going to happen. Okay. All right, I'll go to main ridiculous. phase one. Uh, now that I have that protection, let's put this Peyton back to defense. I will normal summon the X head cannon and let's go to battle. Uh, I'm just going to roll a die. I don't know what I want to hit. Well, I was going to just go ahead and trap hold it. Oh, yeah, you do yeah. have trap. I yeah. forgot about that. I'm All right, just, he's gone. I'm just going to get And I'll pass trapple. the turn. All right. No battle phase for me. <laughs> okay, we're in a weird spot. Very weird spot. You've got a magic cylinder set. We know that. Mm -hmm. uh, now you can't attack straight up. Now we can't attack straight up. This is awesome. Well, you can. I guess that's not I true. I can if I really want to. Oh, this is great. This is amazing. Bet you're wishing you had a paint in the dark clown now. I am. I am. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to pass. Go ahead. All right. We will draw. That's pretty good. All right. I'm going to sacrifice Peyton for oh. your favorite card, oh, buddy. He's back. Okay. So let's go to battle. Uh, I'm going to roll a die and pick which one I want to hit here. Uh, so let's go for the left one. Okay. That is just a silent angler. Silent angler. Uh, then I will pass the turn. All right. Oh, no, you're looking in the extra deck. That's not good. Maybe. Maybe looking at the extra deck. Nothing to worry about. Oh, I hate this. I'm so low. Do we go for it all is the question. I don't know what that means, and I'm scared to find out. Would you like to find out? You've piqued my interest, sir. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. No, go back. Go back. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, we're going to send to the graveyard. Shit, you opened Pandora's box, buddy. All right, uh, All right you so first. I get to mill uh, five, so let's let's just do that. Oh! Oh! Wow! Look at those cards. The droplet. I mean, the Undyne's like the only thing you get to summon, but holy the shit, that's good. Undyne is the only thing that we get to summon. Okay, we're gonna special summon it. Uh, in attack mode. We're going to add to hand this Snatch Steel, Droplet, Bottomless, and Salvage. Okay, nice. That's not bad. Uh, my turn. Oh! oh even worse. Now you know I have it. Now you oh, know I have it. Oh, no. Uh, I think I'm actually going to set both of these because I know you have Snatch wow, Steel. that is scary. Okay, you just added... Okay, wait, wait. You added BLS, Monster Reborn, and what was the third one? Swords of Revealing Light. Wow. Okay, BLS, Monster Reborn, Swords of Revealing Light. That's That sucks. 
And the two monsters were Luster Dragon and B Buster Drake. Wow. Okay. This is a tough this is a tough spot right here. This is like do or die for you right now, because you know what's coming next. <laughs> yeah, this is this is gonna be sticky. We're gonna go ahead and salvage. Uh, I imagine this was in the future, sure. Yeah, I think I only have two targets for this. It's fifteen hundred or less water, so we mm -hmm. have the we have three. We could get the fishborg launcher, but we do have an earth, so it doesn't really do us any good. That is a tuner. Which does make this a little bit more interesting. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> All right. I will add the we're gonna add the angler. Sure. We're gonna add the law. Wait, do we wanna add the launcher? Actually. Actually. We're gonna add the cryomancer. Sure. Okay. Okay, now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do because you have an absolute insane, insane hand coming. You do have bottomless. I mean, you do have a little bit of protection. I have some protection, but you know I have bottomless, so you just gotta get around that. Okay, you have two cards. I know gonna... Cylinder is one of them. I do know Cylinder is one of them. I'm gonna go ahead and normal the Cryomancer. Okay. I'm gonna special the Silent Angler. Oh, fuck. Yeah? Is that okay? That's fine. I'm oh, gonna go into Jesus Christ. the Legendary. Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Now, this is really bad because this could be your it, ticket to victory. Okay. Yes. So, what are your targets? Okay. Well, first, we're going to banish the magic cylinder. Okay. I guess that makes sense because you need to be able to attack. Yeah, All uh, right. Cylinder gone. What do you want to get okay. out of the grave? From the grave, we're going to hit your... You do have two lights, unfortunately. So, what are we most worried? I do not... Okay, since you have two lights anyway, I'm not getting rid of two of them. Let's get rid of your sword soul, a spice guy, because I do not like uh, him coming back. He's, he, he's a problem. <laughs> and then we're going to okay. hit a random card out of your hand. You want to shuffle him All up? Right. All I'm right. I'm going to shuffle him up. Are you going to roll a die? Yeah, closest to the deck will be one, and then the end will be four. Of course. Of course. course. Reroll. Yeah. Typical. Naturally Typical. hit the BLS. Uh, naturally. Again, okay, just for suspense. Miss. Please fucking miss, bro. You said closest to the deck, this, correct? This is a one, yeah. <sighs> oh, that's... Oh, man. Okay, we had a shot. We had a shot there. All right. You do have another set, which honestly is huge. I can't believe you summoned Trish this game. That's so sick. What do we want to do? You've got so much stuff. Monster Reborn. You've got BLS. Oh, uh, this is a nightmare. I've already used my normal summon. You can at least attack now. All right, remind me, remind me what your sets were. These so two. it's Luster yeah. Dragon and B Buster Drake. Okay. Um, uh, we can't attack unless you have a mirror for it. You already used it this turn, this game, right? Okay. Unless you have two, which I would, I wouldn't put it past <laughs> you. You have okay. You're playing Magic Cylinders, this card. <laughs> so the chances you're only playing one. I feel <laughs> like you might have two. So if this I is a know, Magic buddy. Cylinder. I don't know. <laughs> if this is a magic cylinder, I'm going to be very angry, but I think I have to, to at least do something because you have so much follow-up. Let's let's hit this one. On attack declaration. Oh, my gosh. Shrink? That's fine. Oh, okay. We're good. Uh, okay. <laughs> Main two, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to set. I'm going to set. And I'm going to... I'm going to set. All right, go ahead. Wow, three back row. Uh, that's going to be problematic, potentially. Uh, anything in standby? Uh, no. Okay, main phase one. Ooh, now I'm kind of wishing I did something differently, but is what it is. Hmm. Uh, okay. I think we're going to have to give it a shot. Okay. Show me the BL or the bottomless. Um, yeah, I have to bottomless this, I think. Okay, so BLS is gone. I am going to flip uh, summon. BLS, oh, excuse me. Yeah, he's yep. banished. Yeah. I don't want you don't worry, that. I'm not reborning him. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to flip summon B Buster Drake. Okay. Battle. Uh, if it's destroyed, it gets to do what again? Uh, I get to add a union monster union. from okay. deck Okay, uh, okay, that's okay. I will attack. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Fine. Anything in damage step? No. Okay, I'll take 1,200. All right. I will use the effect of my Buster Drake. I will add a Assault Core to my hand. 
A Soul Core, got it. Second main, I will normal summon A Assault Core. Okay. I'm going to banish Assault Core, Buster Drake, and Crush Wyvern for ABC Dragon Buster! Oh my god. You're not the only one with boss monsters, buddy. Wait a second. Okay, wait. <laughs> what does this do? Must be first special summon. Turn, you can discard it, target one card of the field, banish it. Oh, okay. That's He's a beast. Good. He's a beast. That's pretty good. So I'm going uh, to use well, in response to the activation of your effect you're using, right? I'm going to use the effect, correct. So I have to four cost. Uh, yeah, cool. All right, buddy. Uh, you knew fantastic. I had this. I do, uh, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So uh, for cost here, because okay. I'm fairly right. certain I need to pay the cost. Yes. Yeah, you do, uh, yeah. So obviously I'm going after Trish. I'm going to get rid of my D-Mock that was in my hand. Oh, no. <laughs> So this is obviously getting negated. I can't respond to Droplet. My guy shrinks by 1,500 for okay, the turn. Okay, I got to discard a card. So let's, uh, I'm going to discard my four-star Ladybug of Doom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love how that's just like, I, that's why I love this series. Just random yep. stuff like that. Okay. The yep. ultimate rare forbidden Droplet. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and fire Monster Reborn on the Dark yeah. Magician of Chaos. Makes sense. Yeah. And since we're playing pre errata I'm going to go ahead and use that effect. Uh, do I want to get Monster Reborn back? That doesn't seem too bad to me. Uh, doesn't seem bad. Thinking if there's something better, and I think there might be. I am going to grab the Reborn. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will Reborn again. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to Reborn your Brio. It's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, I think I like the idea of being able to uh, just... Pitch this, bounce this back to your extra deck. Okay. And uh, good luck, buddy. <laughs> well, that's pretty broken. That's pretty broken. I'll give you that. All right. Wow. What a set. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> this game has had everything. Okay. This is this is wild. And uh, since, since you know I'm thinking, I'm just going to flip my Snatch Steel. What are you going to target? So I either have to go for... Your ABC Buster, but he could only pop one card. I could go back for my Brianak and then return them to the hand, which is a little scary because you get him back in your hand. You're at 4,300. Oh, what do I take? Okay, you, you the ABC is special summoned by banishing, so that guy's just out of the game if I bounce him with Brianak. Mm -hmm. um, Dark Magician of Chaos would be pretty tough to get out of your hand he's a pretty bricky if i take the abc i could pop then i could go and attack over the brianak but then that leaves you another turn to draw something they're both pretty good options but it just depends on what your face down is so now i have to make a decision what is the decision going to be i have to go for yeah now that i'm re now that i'm reading the second effect well actually either way you're fine with this abc dragon buster i can't target him because you can during your opponents, you can quick effect, tribute this card, and special summon your band sponsor. So I have to go for the Brianak, I think. That's my only option. Sure. So, yeah, and now that I completely remember that you had Snatch Steel, bringing back Brianak was probably the worst idea ever. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, you could have dodged me. I I'm glad I read that second effect because if I target that, I just lose. Um, so I will take that. You have any response? Uh, no, you're good. Okay. So I am going to, unfortunately, have to activate the effect. Discard any of number card, any number of cards to the graveyard. First, I am going to discard the Defender of the Ice Barrier. Send that to the graveyard. So I, have to, I have to do this all at once, right? Okay. Um, no, pre errata, you can do it like one at a time. Oh, oh okay. I see why yeah. it's broken. Okay, I'll, I'll yeah. do that first. <laughs> all right, I'll go for the Demok first. Sure. Uh, I'll activate again. I'm going to send my... Actually, Demok gets banished because uh, it left the field. Oh, okay. That makes it a lot better because if you had these, all these for tribute fodder the next turn, that was going to be bad. Yeah. Um, all right. So now I'm going to activate again. I'm going to pitch my, yeah, I'm going to pitch my Gen X controller to target the uh, ABC Buster Dragon. Or all right. Buster. I'll chain the Buster Dragon. Okay. So we will tribute him off. We will bring back the pieces. Yeah, pretty good. It's not bad. Ah, I wonder what that back row is. You have not. You got one more card in hand. You could find out. I could find out. I think we're just gonna go to. Battle. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, it doesn't destroy. It just bounces. Yeah, I'm gonna attack the 19. Um. Hmm. Do I want you attacking the 19? Actually, I'm gonna put these like this. But yeah. Okay. I will spell binding circle you. 
Oh. Okay. All right, main two, I'm going to set a card. Actually, no, I'm not going to... Uh, uh, no, I'm going to keep that in my hand. Okay, go ahead. Okay, we'll draw. Stand by, I'll gain a 1,000. Thank you, Snatch Steel. And then main phase one. Uh, that's kind of fun. Okay, I uh, didn't think this was going to come up, but it looks like it will. I'm going to switch the Crush Wyvern to attack. I'm going to link off Assault Core and B Buster Drake for Geonator Transverser. No! <laughs> <laughs> So once per turn, no! because it points to two monsters, I can switch control of those monsters. <laughs> I even brought this up in the uh, the deck. Do not put it in the middle. Oh my gosh. So uh, we'll go ahead and swap, buddy. All right. Uh, and then you can put the Crush Wyvern in, in the middle there. And I think this will do it because I can use Bryo. I can pitch this, bounce the Crush Wyvern back to my hand. And Dadgummit. this will be game. Oh my goodness. Oh, actually, well, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Never mind. It is a game because uh, Brio's under Spellbinding Circle, but I can just normal summon the Crush Wyvern and then we're a game. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, I felt like I, oh, oh there's just so many God. things I could have done better there, I think. Dang wow. it. Oh, uh, the zone placement, the zone placement. First time I've ever things. been punished for zone placement, so I guess I'll learn now. But I mean, it's okay. I had to I had to reposition some I even knew, I had another I even monster knew. I could have put there if I had to. I, I didn't knew, know if I was going to draw I had one. three of these in my extra deck. Oh, you did? It's, it's not bad. Well, like, it's okay. I was hoping that, because you had so few cards in your extra deck, you didn't even get any links, but I, it was pretty easy to pull, I think. Yeah. So. And this is, like, what I was thinking with the Genesis Impact pulls. Like, you got the Unicorns, the Phoenix. Like, you have some good options here. I have like, this extra deck's the, not the bad. I nightmare stuff, yeah. And I just never, I never said it, or I never used it. I should have. I was thinking about doing that in, this, in the main phase two right there, which if I had actually done that and uh you know been in a different zone it would have really mattered right but yeah. I, I could have only made the nightmare and you could have crashed with me so i really i didn't have an option really to do that what an episode though like we summoned like so many boss monsters we brought <laughs> bls brianak trishula gungnir demok yeah. abc dragon buster who can say they've summoned all of that in like one game of Yu Gi Oh? it's yeah, crazy literally like all of my i didn't get to do the uh what is this guy called trishula zero dragon of the ice barrier but right right maybe I next mean, time maybe next time that's a hard card <laughs> to pull off to be fair yeah. uh, i also pulled an ulti forbidden droplet you just never got to see it oh, so it's funny wow. that we both pulled one that's pretty cool yeah that's that's pretty good it's definitely the best card um i was thinking that uh cyber dragon was in 17 that i remembered oh it's in 16 and then i was like oh 16 is just really good so it not having 17 actually was pretty nice <laughs> yeah i think it was fun because we got to see some droplet I, I think the cards in that pack were actually pretty decent like i was playing these lion alligators which i didn't think were half bad i yeah. think that's where the geonator transverser came from as well i definitely um, should have played some i think i could have played some lion alligators because they were they were waters but oh yeah. they are water yeah that could have synergized with you yeah these uh the ice barriers are I don't know. <laughs> they're, a, <laughs> they're a little weird, but I guess they are decent some, uh, in some ways. Because the synchro monsters are great. Like, that's that's of why course. I played it. I was like, well, if I can get into these synchros, it's pretty pretty crazy. I've but, still never uh, understood how an archetype could have so many broken cards, but, like, the main <laughs> core of the cards are just awful. Because, yeah, like, I, the synchros are all nuts, and then Medallion is nuts, and then the rest of the cards are just, like, hardly playable. Oh, it's, it's so bad. There I just some, can't... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, they had some of the big ones. It was like, there's a couple of like huge monsters, but like, I was like, how do I even get these guys out? Like they're garbage. So I just didn't play them. I did play the the Malaglacia or whatever. It's like five waters in your graveyard. Oh, you um, had that. Yeah, that card's insane. I sided it out because I was like, it's just a little too specific getting five. And I don't know if I have enough manipulation uh, in right. the first game. And I was like, I really don't want to draw this and not be able to summon it. So I sided it out. And yeah, aside from like salvage or like I guess reviving something like Fishborg Launcher I, or something I have, weird. Yeah, I do have the Foolish Burial. I I do have a few cards that can that can discard and like that can help. And then you mm -hmm. got salvage. So there was a few ways to do it. 
but I was just really scared of breaking on it, so I just took it out. <laughs> oh, understandably so. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I still can't believe how crazy this card is. Like, this Maneater yeah. Bug retrain is nuts. This it is, mattered, like, one yeah. of the coolest cards I've ever seen. I had used Dark Hole because of that thing, so... Yeah, because <laughs> it can't be killed by battle. It's, like, it's already good because it's removal, but then it stays yeah. there. That's all I'm like, oh, I might actually get to hard tribute some of Demok with this thing. So... Yeah. It yeah, also I, cannot be destroyed by the effects of monsters of its same type. So Right. So if you're like, like most of these ice barriers are spellcasters, so like if yeah. any of them like would have a destruction effect, then like that's pretty cool, you know? Yeah. That's, so that's I don't not know. Bad. Yeah, it's not bad. I don't think I had anything else like too crazy in my deck. Uh, I think you saw most Let's... of it. I had marshmallow on too, I guess. But uh, did, okay, for those battle city packs, did you <laughs> did you consider playing tunes? Did you consider it? Uh there were so many tune cards. It was like every pack. Oh, wait. Did we both get those? Yes. Oh, straight up. I just forgot to open. <laughs> uh, that's where Foolish Burial came from. Uh, oh, guess okay. what else I pulled from there? Okay. I, di I didn't what? play it, which I'm probably going to get crucified. Crush Card Virus. <laughs> oh, see, I had Crush Card in the side deck, but like looking at your deck, I was thinking... It's not really that good against you because a lot of yeah. your monsters are, are tiny. tiny. Like yeah. your big monsters are obviously nuts, but like, as, and aside from that, I only had a couple ways. Like Pet in the Dark Clown is like my best way to trigger Crush Card, which was cool. Yeah. But yeah, so I had it sighted in case like it came up. But like looking at your monsters, like they're weenies. Yeah, uh, so weenies. I just actually <laughs> didn't think it really made a lot of sense to play it. That's why it, I was playing these mirror walls <laughs> yeah i mean hey if it works right <laughs> oh look i was also playing the common from rise of the duelist i forgot it was a common dogmatic a punishment oh my god and hey that's good it's removal yeah. right dogmatic a punishment is just a card that's removal right yeah i mean the fact that you just get and to I'm send 15, these uh 15 cards in my extra decks so. well and that's where like the trish zero card's pretty good too because that thing's right. like 3300 attack or something so like you could probably yeah. kill like almost anything in like, my deck with punishment yeah, a lot of your big guys you brought up, it would have been pretty good. Yeah. So overall, I mean, uh, this was a fun one. I, I did not know how this was going to go, and uh, this may be just as entertaining as some of the other ones that we done, we've done. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, we had some crazy stuff. There was some damage step stuff, some mirror walls. some Like big, I said, all the boss monsters. monsters. So yeah, many monsters. But I guess Circle, Magic Cylinder, it Monster Reborn, it Mirror Force. All of it was activated. This is like, this is just like the ultimate fan service for yeah, people who are Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. <laughs> so guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Auction Series. We have to shout the patrons, of course. As always, so big shouts to Shout1317, Moto, Cameron Smith, Chaotic Meatball, Tim00, X3, Ike, Iron Fang, Part 2, Pony, Starkey, and Musa, Dan, the Hoban, Synchro Guy, Ole, Mystic Walk, Sylvia Wild, Stray, Conic, Useful Fast, and 05, Cole T, Rockslide, Dolly Wop, Logan Thomas, Peter Gregory, Thomas Nelson, Jordan Coons, K Kelvin, Iron Blazeman, Pure H, Jesse Woods, your Nerdgasm, Brother Paul, Chris Hood, Nehru Celeste, David Liu, Rockley 325, Chat God, Agent 216, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, John Two Base, Brody Eastwood, Dace Zero, Elias Panero, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Give Me Speed Word or Give Me Death, Ashlyn Jensen, TC Gaming, Thanks for the Sleeves Dad, Hots for Gage, Matthew Brady, Dr. Solace, Max, Tom Russell, Gage just played Watts already, Chipotle Rice, Eric Grams, Wayan, Fox News, I guess, I guess the Murdochs are watching <laughs> us now, uh, and then Talk Dirty to me, NBT. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time. <laughs>